Welcome to Joe's Astrology. This is the birth chart analysis for Cassie. Uh, there's no birth time for her, so it's just the aspects and signs. And she is a sun in Virgo, moon in Taurus, Venus in Libra. And if you're, you're new here uh, and you're new to astrology and you're here because of the Diddy and Cassie video, stay tuned because this is very, very interesting. Uh, she, we can look, I want to look at her transits first of all. Okay, if you don't know what transits are, these planets here, they are currently in different places and they go over uh, the planets in the, the chart that you have when you're, when you're born. And let's take a look at this Mars here first. She has Mars at 12 degrees Capricorn, and Pluto, when she was born, is at 5 degrees Scorpio. And when that, um, apparently the video uh, with Diddy, when that occurred, when that actual incident occurred, Pluto was going over her Mars. And if you don't know anything about astrology, a Pluto transit, when Pluto goes over a planet in your chart, especially a planet like Mars, uh, Things can be very disruptive in your life, changes, and, and we, we think of planets like Mars and um, Saturn that rules that Mars and, and Capricorn and, and Pluto, we associate them with violence. Now, Plu now Diddy had Pluto going over his Mars uh, currently, and when when um, all this came out in the news and the, and the feds raided his house, etc., and it's still there close to his 29 degree Mars at... Um, Right now, I think it's at one one degrees. So that's interesting as well. They both have this Pluto Mars transit, but right here, when that incident happened, Pluto was going over Mars. We can look at right now. Saturn is currently going over Jupiter in Pisces, and the Moon. We don't know exactly where it is because of the no birth time, but it's probably somewhere near here because Uranus is actually at 23 or 24 degrees uh, Taurus right now. So she has Uranus going over her moon currently. And the south node recently, within the last month here, has went over her, uh, her Venus and her south node there in Libra. And Jupiter is also going to be making, uh, co coming over this, um, or just went over this moon, or near this moon. It's at 26 degrees, I think, 26, 27 degrees. So lots of activity for her right now. Sometimes that's all it means, just a lot of activity. But I would say, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into the birth chart and what it means here as well. But we could say, you know, with Saturn going over this Jupiter, Jupiter likes to be in Pisces. Jupiter's a beneficial planet. Um, you know, you could say with Saturn going over it, she may be getting, uh, this may not be the most fortunate time for her uh, with Uranus going over the moon, but Jupiter's there too. This may be, you know, we could see trauma coming up with Uranus associated with trauma. Moon in Taurus, Taurus is money, uh, and it's in the Capricorn Deccan, 25 degrees. This could be a hit to her, to her bank account. This could be a hit to her status, or maybe it's the other way around where um, she gets so much attention that she makes even more money and her status goes up. Can't really say uh, just by doing this mini reading what that's going to be, but I'm sure if you uh, stay tuned to the news, you'll find out soon enough. Um, she has interesting astrology when it comes to basic astrology. Like this Venus is in a sign that it likes to be in. Venus is ruled by Libra. She's got Pluto and Scorpio where it rules. She has Mars and Capricorn where it's exalted. She has Jupiter and Pisces where it rules. And she has Moon and Taurus. If this is correct and it's not in Gemini where it rules as well. So that's a lot of planets in the, their home signs. And <clears throat> for me personally, if I knew this person in person, I would really, I think I would really get along with her. I think I would. Um, uh, really be fond of this person because of a lot of these placements. 
nice little Mercury in Leo with the Sun. I love this combination here, Sun and Virgo, Mercury and Leo, because it's not, you know, all Leo. It's not all out there in your face. Me, 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 me. There's that. Yes, there is that element of getting attention and being a performer. But then there's that Sun and Virgo where uh, she's also probably very introspective and, uh, you know, just someone who reflects on her actions and, and things in her life. Now, I want to get into more of the negative side of this. You know, working with, I think, Diddy is also a Virgo son. And what we're talking about here with all these Virgo, the Virgo and Pisces and the Taurus and all the, basically the earth and the water, but specifically Virgo and Pisces, and also this Venus on the south node. The Venus south node, you know, where she's coming from, she's a beautiful, beautiful uh, woman. She's uh, creative. She's artistic. Now, my my mother, if you if you haven't seen that chart, I did a chart with my mother, and she also had Venus on the south node. Very similar, very similar in these ways. But uh, with that, everything I just explained, plus the Venus on the south node, that's not exactly all good and fortunate. Yes, it could bring the the money and the the good looks, etc. But um, definitely with with Libra as well, problems in relationships. We're dealing with abuse, dealing with maybe some masochistic behavior. So, you know, not all, without knowing the whole story, but, you know, this is often the case <clears throat> with these emphasis on these um, areas of the chart. Sometimes the people can get involved in uh, relationships that are very uh, sadomasochistic. And there is no shortage of that indicating here in the chart. We see a Sun-Mars trine. We see a Mars-Neptune uh, conjunction, Neptune being the planet that rules uh, this Jupiter. We see the Uranus as well, making a sextile to that Venus. So, you know, a lot of this stuff, people can be into these kind of things. And, and we see with Uranus there is there's an opportunity now you could say there's an opportunity of her being an individual, unique person. But also the negative side could run into these incidences where um, a person gets themselves into trouble. And certainly with the, um, with the moon in Taurus, I, I would associate Taurus and Capricorn with these energies as well. She does have this North Node also ruled by Mars. And here's the last thing I'm going to say. I'd be, I'd be able to get more specific if I had the birth time, if I had the whole chart. But that Mars that we're talking about, um, where Pluto went over, it's squaring these nodes. And the resolution node is the Libra. So perhaps, you know, with Aries and Mars, perhaps she went forward a little too fast. This is where you're moving, where you're headed. And um, she went forward a little too fast and didn't consider the implications of the relationships that she was uh, forming or that she's forming in the life in order to maybe get famous or um, you know, to accomplish what she wanted, the mission that she wanted to accomplish with that North Node on Mars. And there, with that being said, there could be some need to come back here to the South Node and um, with these relationships and reassess the... Um, reassess, you know, why you're there, who you're with. Um, are these the people that you want to be around? Uh, maybe reassess your own actions and your own um, thoughts and, and words, etc. It could be a, a, any one of these things. But just in general, um, you know, rehashing over these things and figuring out maybe a better way and how you want to integrate this Venus south node with your mission uh, north node in Aries and where, you're, where you uh, really want to go. So that is my mini reading for Cassie. I also did Diddy. I have four videos on Diddy uh, and on his astrology. Check those out. Um, I'll probably link them down in the description and I hope you enjoy this mini reading for Cassie.